I need to know everything Who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche There's five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost I need to On today's installation video We'll be showing you how to install a race chip On a Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG S 2.0 Turbo Available across many of their models Before installing the race chip Please wait until your engine is cool enough to work on. Put your parking brake or emergency brake on. If your vehicle is equipped with an alarm system, please disable it. Pop the hood, roll up the windows, close the doors, and press the lock button on your key fob and move that key fob 30 feet away. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes after for all the electricity to clear from underneath the hood. First step is to remove the engine cover. To do so, we're gonna remove the two RAM intakes by using a flathead screwdriver. Then we'll be able to remove the plastic engine cover from the engine bay. Now we can begin by installing the race chip wiring harness to our seat connection, which is our camshaft position sensor. To unplug the OEM factory sensor, we're gonna pull back on the locking tab and press down. Then we'll take the male end of the race chip wiring harness and plug it back into that OEM sensor and lock it in place with the gray locking tab. Then we'll take that OEM male plug, plug that into the female end of the race chip wiring harness. Then we'll go ahead and do the same for the B connection, which is going to our manifold absolute pressure sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the OEM factory male plug by pulling back and pushing down on the white locking tab. Before we go ahead and take the male end of the race chip wiring harness and plug that in place and lock it in place with the gray locking tab. Next we'll go to our A connection which is our boost pressure sensor. For the video's sake we're going to go ahead and put the car on a lift to show you how to access this connection. You'll want to start by removing these highlighted bolts here. Then, with the engine pan removed, you can go ahead and loosen these two bolts here as well. Then you'll see the boost pressure sensor is actually located on the intercooler. So for the video's sake, we're going to use a couple of longer screwdrivers to show you where to access, but you also can reach your hand up in there to unplug the OEM factory sensor. To do so, we're going to push down on the locking tab and gently pull away. And with that unplugged, we then can install the race chip wiring harness, plugging the male end in and making sure that it locks in place. Then we'll move to our four locking mounting tabs, install those into the race chip, and use the longer of the supplied zip ties to mount the unit somewhere within the engine bay, away from moisture and hot moving parts. Mm -hmm. 